Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be solving an equation with complex numbers. We have z to the power 12 plus 1 over z to the power 12 is equal to 2 and we're going to be solving for z values. I'll be presenting two methods and let's start with the first one. For my first method I'll be reverse engineering or maybe you can call that backtracking. So I'm going to try to go to the z to the power 12 but in a backward way so let's go ahead and consider z to the 6 plus 1 over z to the 6 I'm gonna go ahead and square it I don't know what it is I'm just gonna square it right so when you square a plus b as you know this is gonna be z to the 12 plus 1 over z to the 12 which is a squared b squared and then we have the 2ab since these are reciprocals their product is gonna be 1 so 2ab is just gonna be 2 great so now we already know that this is equal to 2, right? It's given. So this is going to be 4. So something squared equals 4, we have two results. From here, z to the 6 plus 1 over z to the 6 equals plus minus 2. Let's keep that now reverse engineer one more time. Consider now this expression squared. If you square this, you're going to get z to the 6 plus 1 over z to the 6 plus 2 again. And now we do know that z to the 6 plus 1 over z to the 6 is plus minus 2. So we have two possibilities. And if you consider both, then we're going to get two values for z cubed plus 1 over z cubed squared. It can be 4 or 0. From here, we get three values for z cubed plus 1 over z cubed. It can be plus minus 2 or 0. Um, let me just write 0. Okay. Awesome. Now, we're going to be writing one more identity. Now, let's consider the following. Cube z plus 1 over z and subtract from it 3 times z plus 1 over z. And guess what you're going to get from here? z cubed plus 1 over z cubed. And this is equal to plus minus 2. Suppose it's negative 2. And similarly, you can consider positive 2, but let's say this is equal to negative 2. And by the way, I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'll use substitution. Let's go ahead and call this something. How about u, right? Or maybe w. w is probably better because I'll use the u later. And this becomes w cubed minus 3w equals negative 2. And from here, we get w cubed minus 3w plus 2 equals 0. Do you see that w equals 1 is a solution? I hope you do. And if you know that, you can now go ahead and factor this expression, kind of break down the negative 3w and factor by grouping. You could also do it in a longer way by involving w squared, but that's not necessary. You can go ahead and factor this even more, w plus 1, w minus 1, and eventually you'll get a common factor, which is w minus 1, because we know that w equals 1 is a solution, right? And then the other factors is going to be w squared plus w minus 2. I distributed these, okay? Great. Now, from here, we already know w equals 1 is a solution, but let's go ahead and take a look at that. It's also factorable. You can factor it as w plus 2 times w minus 1. And if you set it equal to 0, you get w equals negative 1 and w equals 1 again. But we already had w equals 1, so there's no need to repeat it. We can just say that, okay, there are two solutions. One of them is uh, repeated, but that's okay. We don't care. Okay? So we basically have these two as solutions. Great. Now, suppose, again, we make a lot of assumptions, right? Suppose w equals z plus 1 over z is equal to 1. What happens in that case? Then multiply both sides by z. z squared plus 1 equals z, or z squared minus z plus 1 equals 0. Awesome. Now, what do you get from here? Well, this is going to have non-real solutions, right? If you consider the quadratic formula, 1 plus minus the square root of 3i all over 2. That's going to be the z values based on our assumption. But what happens if w is equal to something else, right? Like negative 2. Okay, let's find out. If w is equal to negative 2, 
let's just say w which is z plus 1 over z maybe you just put a little if there is equal to negative 2 then z squared plus 1 is equal to negative 2z 2z or not 2z z squared plus 2z plus 1 is equal to 0 I hope you recognize this this is a perfect square so from here z equals negative 1 wait a minute you only looked at two w values aren't there more cases yes absolutely because if you think about it we did not consider all the cases for example we did not consider the zero here we did not even consider the positive two here so there's going to be more cases in other words you are supposed to consider all the cases right that's going to be your task great let's go ahead and talk about and remember these roots as we look at the results at the very end okay because they're gonna be coming up and they're gonna be important especially these two right okay great hopefully you recognize already what they are and now let's go ahead and take a look at the second solution obviously the first method is very very roundabout because you kind of have to go to the six powers and then the third and then the original sum z plus one over z by the way, that's a very special expression. If you're doing math competitions, you should definitely know those kinds of expressions. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. And the second method actually uses a very simple idea, which you probably thought about. Substitution again, but this time, why not do it right away? This is going to give you the u. This is u. And u will get u plus 1 over u equals 2. And from here, you probably know what you're going to get, but let's just still go through the motions. And this becomes that. Practice is good. Practice is key. And from here, we get u equals 1. Awesome. And even if you know the result, sometimes, or most of the time, maybe all the time, on the test, you have to write down your steps, right? So u equals 1, but what is u? u is z to the power 12. Nice. So z to the power 12 equals 1. You know what that means? It means we're going to take the 12th root of both sides. In other words, z is 12th roots of unity. So each z value is going to be a 12th root of unity. Unity means 1. Okay. So in other words, z can be written as e to the power 2 pi ni, which is 1, divided by 12. So basically, division by 12 takes the 12th root, which is fairly easy thanks to Euler, right? And simplify this, you're going to get e to the power pi and i over 6. Nice. And here n equals 0, 1, 2, dot, 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 all the way up to 11. After 11, it's going to repeat because this is a cycle. Let me show you a couple things, okay? And then we'll finish up. Real solutions, ta-da. We found this, but you can also find it very easily. And think about it. If positive 1 is a solution, negative 1 should also be a solution because of the even powers what about the other thing that i wanted to show you beautiful right these are basically all the solutions including one and negative one and notice how they are nicely separated and this brings us to the end of this video thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it please let me know don't forget to comment like and subscribe i'll see you next time with another video until then be safe take care and bye bye